fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. Before this exciting adventure, a word from our sponsor. General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the oat cereal that's ready to eat, Betty Crocker mixes, and Wheaties, the breakfast of champions. Presents by special recording, The Lone Ranger. When your mom packs a specially delicious lunchbox for school, doesn't it make you feel all happy and kind of proud? The kids you eat with want a bite, or maybe even ask if you'll swap lunches. Well, that probably happens to you all the time if your mom bakes Betty Crocker cake mix cakes. Mmm, a great big wedge of, say, Betty Crocker honey spice cake sure turns a school lunch into a feast. And I hope your mom knows how easy it is to bake one up. All the good-tasting spices and sweet golden honey and everything are right in the mix. She just has to add water and two fresh eggs for a perfect cake every time. Cake after cake after cake. It's guaranteed perfect by Betty Crocker of General Mills, Minneapolis. So next time you're asked what you'd like in your lunchbox, tell mom some Betty Crocker honey spice cake. Maybe she'll even let you take the whole cake to share at school. A say-let's-be-buddies kind of cake. A perfect Betty Crocker honey spice cake. With his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I am Silver. headed south along a trail that led to Eagle Pass. As the two men rode over a hill, they were startled by the sound of shooting and yelling in the distance. Hold 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 Look, Kinasabi, over there on the plain, Indians attacking covered wagons. Four Indians to help drive them off. Move to the Use your gun, Hello. Uh -huh. Indians see us. They haven't even passed. We'll ride to the wagon. The driver of the wagon has been wounded. Ah. You came just in time. My husband is... Oh, the man. I didn't know that... Don't worry about the mask. We came to help you. I'll see if your husband's badly wounded. I told him to stay with the others, but Joe's so stubborn. They were heading for Laredo, but Joe wanted to settle in this section. Is he? No, he'll be all right. Oh. He has a flesh wound, but it isn't serious. Help me bandage it, Tonto. Ah. <clears throat> What happened? The Indians, Joe, remember? They're gone now. These men chased them away. Uh, you'll soon be all right. You should have stayed with the other wagons. It isn't safe to travel alone in this territory, Mr... Adams. You, Adams. That, that's my wife, Mary. Well, you had quite a scare, Mrs. Adams. But you'll be all right from here on. Well, we'll help you to the wagon seat, Mr. Adams. Then we'll ride with you to the outskirts of town. The Lone Ranger and Toto escorted the Adams to the outskirts of Eagle Pass. Then the masked man and the Indian went into the nearby hills to find a suitable campsite for themselves. That night in the cafe in Laredo, two men sat at a corner table talking in low tones. Listen, Russ, I heard something this afternoon, something you've been waiting to hear. Yeah? What's that, Lucky? News about that masked hombre you've been hunting. What? You mean you really heard something about the Lone Ranger? I sure did. I was over in the general store late this afternoon when a man and a woman came in. They just arrived from the east driving their own wagon and they're camped right outside of town. Where's the Lone Ranger coming in? Seems like they was attacked by Indians today, not far from here. The man, his, his name is Adams, was wounded in the shoulder. Hey, go on. Well, Mrs. Adams says a masked hombre and an engine come riding hard over the hill and drove off the redskins. Then they rode with the Adams to the edge of town. Yeah, Mickey, you're right. That must have been the Lone Ranger. Sure. That's... I have an idea that Ombre will show up again at the Adams camp. He was interested in helping them get settled, seems like. Yeah, the thing for us to do is keep watch and see if he does show up. 
Then we'll trail him to his camp. Yeah, but from what I hear, he's faster on the draw and a better shot than either of us. <laughs> I'm not fool enough to try to face him. But I'll see that he gets what's coming to him anyway. The following afternoon, the Lone Ranger spoke to Toto about the Adams. Toto, it might be a good idea for you to ride to town and see how the Adams are getting along. Ah. Find out if we can help them in any way. Ah. Yes, Scout. Better stop at the store and bring some sugar and coffee. Uh, may not be long, Kimasabi. Adios. Adios. Get him up, Scout. A short time later, Tonto arrived at the Adams wagon. Oh, Scout, no fella. Easy, Scout. Easy. Oh, here's the Indian that was with the best man yesterday. Hello. Oh. Me come see you. Everything all right? Yes, thank you. My husband was lying down inside the wagon. Well, howdy, I'm glad to see you. You feel better now? Oh, I sure do. My shoulder's a little sore yet, but you did a good job of fixing it. You settled near Eagle Pass? Yep. Maybe? I uh, got a bit of money saved up, but I aim to buy a small farm around here. We'll go into town in the morning and find out what there is for sale. All our life savings are in the wagon. The next time you come, I hope to be the owner of a little farm. Then you and your masked friend can come to see us now and then. Oh, we do that. And we go now, right to store. Adios. Good Goodbye. Easy, easy, scout. Easy, Fana. Get him up, Scout. A short time later, the cook, Mickey, entered the cafe and approached the table where his friend Russ was sitting. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mickey, looks like you have some news for me. Sit down. Yeah. I have. Well, what is it? I've been keeping tabs on that Adam's wagon. A camp right behind the blacksmith shop on the edge of town. Sure, I know that. Well, that'd give me a chance to keep out of sight alongside the blacksmith shop and yet be within earshot of the wagon. You hear anything worthwhile? I sure did. That engine come there a while ago. Keep talking. Well, the Adams told the engine they have some money saved up to buy a farm. And they have that money right there in the wagon. There you go on. They told with the engine. But they probably don't tell others about it. If we could get that money and put the blame on the Lone Ranger and the engine... Hey... Now I see what you're driving at. <laughs> Mickey, you're uh, smarter than I thought. Yeah. I'll get over there to the store so as not to miss that engine. I'll see you later, Russ. And we'll make plans for getting that kid. It was dusk when Papa returned to the camp in the hills, which he shared with the Lone Ranger. Oh, it's got open, huh? Well, Toto, everything all right at the Adams camp? Ah. Uh-uh. Them say them have money saved up. Them going to buy a small farm near here, right way. I see. I wonder if they have that money in the wagon with them. Uh, me think so. Or say savings in wagon. Oh, that's risky. They should have put it in the bank until they need it. Um, me think of that, too. You know, it might be a good idea, Tonto, for us to ride to their camp and keep an eye on their wagon. In the morning, we'll advise them to put that money in the bank as soon as it opens. Adams ate an early supper and then retired in their covered wagon. It was pitch dark when Mrs. Adams was awakened by a sudden cry from her husband. No, no. Oh, Joe. Joe, what happened? Quiet, Joe. Where's the money you told the Indian about? Speak up or I'll... Wait. It's in a box under the seat. All right, get it. Here it is. All right. Now I'm tying you up. Oh, no, please. My, my wrist. Hold oh, still, will you? Too tight. Get it. Hey. Now for a game. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, hold you. There. Oh. Russ, get over here behind the shop. Somebody's coming. Hurry. Keep the horses quiet. Easy there, easy. The moon's coming out behind the clouds. Maybe we... Hey, look. Man, down me in the engine. Give him a You hurt? Give him a You plugged him. Let's get out of here. Easy, easy boy. Get him, get him, get him. The gunman rode hurriedly toward the center of town as Toto fired after them. After emptying his guns in the direction of the fleeing crooks, Toto turned his attention to the Lone Ranger. Kimikai. I'll be all right, Toto. The bullet just skinned my left arm. Now, let me fix it. It's good. It's not serious. Now, this will be all right. Oh, thanks, Toto. Strange Adams didn't hear the shooting. We'll look inside the wagon when you finish. Now, who you think shoot at us? I don't know. But I'm going to find out as soon as possible. We'll 
continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. Boxer Ben fights hard and fair, so in the ring you kids beware. He's dynamite because he knows he's got go power from Cheerios. Yes, he's got go power. There he goes. He's feeling his Cheerios, Cheerios, Cheerios. Cheerios, the cereal everybody loves. No other cereal looks like Cheerios. It's shaped like little letter O's. No other cereal tastes like Cheerios. It's the only ready-to-eat cereal with this fresh, toasted oat flavor. No other cereal is like Cheerios. You see, Cheerios is made from oats, and every delicious spoonful of Cheerios and milk is real muscle-building food. Each spoonful contains vitamins, minerals, and proteins your body needs. Yes, the good things in a Cheerios breakfast do good things for your body. Help you have healthy nerves, good red blood, strong bones and muscles. Have Cheerios every morning. Then you'll hear people say... He's feeling his Cheerios. Now to continue. Hidden behind the blacksmith shop after robbing the Adams, the two crooks, Russ and Mickey, saw the Lone Ranger and Tonto approach and stop near the wagon. Russ took aim and fired at the Lone Ranger. Then he and Mickey hurriedly rode toward the center of town. Hey, where are we heading, Russ? The sheriff's office, like you said. Good. Uh, here we are. Pull the stop, Mickey. Hold hold, 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 hold. Easy, son. All right, come on. You agree with everything I say, Sam? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, let's go in. Well, what's up? I thought I heard shooting. You did, Sheriff. You heard us shooting at a couple of cooks. They were snooping around that prairie schooner behind the blacksmith shop. So that was it. Yeah, that's right, Sheriff. You see, my friend and I are riding past here. It's kind of shadowy there. All of a sudden, we saw two hombres near the wagon. In fact, they were actually jumping out of the wagon, weren't they, Mickey? That's right. We opened fire on them. I know I winged one of them. The one I plugged was Mask. Mask, eh? Yeah, and the fellow with him was an engine. I could see that much. Now, look, maybe if you get your deputies and go right over there, you might be able to pick up the trail. With one of them being wounded, no. Hey, that would delay him getting away fast. Oh, come on, my horse is ready and waiting right outside. I'll pick up a few men at the cafe as deputies, and we'll go right back there to that wagon. Come on. Good. You wait here. I'll run over and yell into the cafe for some men. Right at you. Hey, in there. I need a few armies to help me round up a couple of crooks. Hurry. We might be able to catch them before they get away from town. All right, All right. All right hurry up, get to your horses, then we'll get after them. Come on, now. Tonto carefully bandaged the Lone Ranger's wounded arm. Just as he finished, they heard hoofbeats approaching fast. He must hurry. Many men coming. Them here shooting, maybe. Yes. Now, Toto, we don't want them to find us here. Easy, sir. Come on, right. Come on, Tilly. Come on, Tom. Now, mister, where's the armories you were talking about? I uh, guess they got away, Sheriff, but I know I plugged one of them. You was masked and rode a white stallion. We come along just as they were coming out of that covered wagon there, Sheriff. Well, we'd better investigate that wagon. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Pete. Light a match for me. Yeah, sure. What? Glory be, look here. Why, the Easterners who came here yesterday. The Adam. Yeah, he's been knocked in the head and she's tied up and gagged. Here, let me help you, ma'am. Get that. There. Gags out of your mouth. Now for those ropes. We've been robbed all our money. There. Now I'll help you get up. My husband, he, he was struck in his sleep. I'll light another match. Here, let me see here. Yeah, got a bad whack in the back of the head, all right. Oh. Here, somebody help Mrs. Adams from the wagon. Sure, I'll help her. All right, ma'am, we'll get you out, and then we'll bring out your husband. Easy now. Oh. Yeah. I got you, ma'am. Thank yeah. you. Now, yeah. Pete, help me get Mr. Adams out of here. Sure. There you go. Easy now. All right, boys. All right. Take him. There, put him down now. Right. Joe. Joe, speak to me. Mary, what, what happened? We've been robbed. All our savings. Robbed. So that's it. Mary, did you, did you get a look at him? No, it was so dark in there, and he spoke in sort of a husky voice. I, I was so frightened. He wore a mask, didn't he, ma'am? Well, I think so. Hey, see there, Sheriff? The man I put was wearing a mask, and it was an Indian with him. The mask, the man, and, and the Indian. And you did see them, Adam? No, no, but we we met them yesterday. They, they saved us from an Indian raid. 
I can't believe they robbed us. I can't believe it. The man who came into the wagon, he mentioned the Indian. He did? What did he say? Well, he asked me where the money was that we told the Indian about. Well, we did tell that Indian we had our savings with us, but I still don't think that they were... Sheriff, we saw the masked hombre climbing from the wagon, and the Indian was waiting for him. When he wanted to leave, I fired at him, then came for you. Reckon you two will be all right till we get back when it was out long. Oh, yes, yes, we'll be all right now, Sheriff. I do hope you can get our money back for us. We'll sure try, ma'am. All right, hit leather, boys. Uh, uh, ready? Uh, ready? Uh, get up, Lander. Oh, yeah. yeah. The lantern's been lighted in the wagon, Mary. Anyway, we'll, we'll get inside now. I'm beginning to feel all right. Here, I'll help you, Joe. We will help it, Mrs. Adams. Oh, Joe, it's the mask man again. Uh, don't be frightened. We didn't steal your money. But we're going to find out who did. You see, Mary, I felt sure they didn't do it. We'll help Mr. Adams into the wagon. No, we'll... I'll, I'll make it all right. Well, I'll help you into the wagon, Mr. Adams. Thank you. There. I want both of you to believe me when I say that Joe, we don't... Joe, look at my hand. Hmm? All green. How did you... The cash box. That was it, Mary. The cash box? I don't understand. Did you handle it? Well, you did, didn't you? Yes. I handed it to, to that outlaw in the dark. Well, then that's it, all right. I used green paint this afternoon to touch up a few spots on the wagon. This can tilted and spilled some paint on the cash boxes that put the paint under the seat. I uh, just went ahead and painted the cash box green all over. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, what's the matter? The man who took that box probably has paint on his hands, too. Gee, that's right. You see, Mary, the masked man doesn't have any on his hands. I'm convinced the men who stole your money are with the sheriff and his men. Otto, we'll follow them. Well, we're going with you, mister. Then we can back you up about the green paint. Please. Are you willing to go along, Mrs. Adams? Yes. Yes, I'll go. Good. We'll saddle the horses right now. Then we'll go after the men who took your money. Meantime, the sheriff and the men, led by the crooks, had reached the Lone Ranger's campsite. Oh, oh, no. Well, here's the camp, like this fella says. No one's here. Moon's bright enough to show that. Yeah, I'm sure I plugged that mask on, Bray Sheriff. If he was hurt bad, it'd take him a long time to get here. He must have started on another trail leading here, we'd have caught up to him. Let's take cover till they do arrive. Sure, then we can grab him. Well, I reckon we can... Wait, listen. Somebody coming up the trail now. No oh, time to take cover now. Get your guns, handyman. Right. Hey, there are four riders coming. I can see them. Yeah, that's right. It's your mask on me. And the Adams are with them. Keep them covered. Oh, 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 oh. reach for your guns, mister. We got you covered. So I see. Mrs. Adams, did this hombre make you and your husband come here with him? The good we thing came because we wanted to, Sheriff. Sheriff. I'm told two men accused me and my Indian friend of robbing the Adams. That's right. Speak up, you fellas. How about it? He's the one we saw, Sheriff. He's got a bandage on his left arm or a pudge. I want to look at the men's hands, Sheriff. Hey, what's he looking at our hands for? I wonder what this is all about. Let me see yours, mister. Uh, there, take a look. Now, what... Hey, hey what's... Sheriff, here he is. The man who robbed us. Hey, I'll get... The masked hombre shot him. Adams accused that fellow. Say, hey, what is this? It's his hands, Sheriff. The green paint on them. You see, it's fresh paint from the box we had under the wagon seat. Look, I have some on my hands, what? too. So that's it. I'm getting out of here. As Mickey started to leave, the Lone Ranger grabbed his lariat and whirling it over his head, sent his loop unerringly toward the fleeing outlaw. You're not leaving. Watch out, Mickey! There's the other one, Sheriff. Did you see that? Quick as a wink. That's your fine yeah. open. Now look at that fella's saddlebag for the cash. Now look, Sheriff. Shut up and get off that horse. Watch him, man. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Yep. Here's the roll of cash, all right. That's it. That's our saving. Yeah. I noticed some spots of green paint on it. That proves the masked man and Indian didn't take it. But they still have some explaining to do. That mask, for instance. I'll be able to explain now, Sheriff, since I've had a close look at the wounded man. He's Russ Carey, former Russ. outlaw gang leader. Russ Carey? Huh? Say, I have a new handbill on him. He's wanted again. But why should Otto he... Otto and I were responsible for sending him to prison once. But why would you, a mask on me? The sheriff's a fool if he don't figure that one out. Most lawmen have heard about you and your silver bullets. What? Holy mackerel, so that's it. Now I know why the Adams trusted him and these crooks wanted to plug him. 
They were afraid the masked man would recognize him and send him back to prison. I feel sure of that, Sheriff. I reckon I owe you an apology, mister. Oh, forget it. They explained everything to us on the way here, Sheriff. They came to the wagon tonight to sort of keep watch. When they rode up, those outlaws shot at them and wounded the masked man. They'd already taken the money. Yes, that's right. The masked man and the Indian are our friends. We'll leave now, Sheriff, if you don't mind. That's all right, mister. I hope we meet again sometime. We shall. All right, let's go, Toto. Uh -huh. Adios. Goodbye. 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 Look, Sheriff, you should have found out about that mask before you let him go. Sure. No need to, men. He gave me this, Sheriff. He said it was a keepsake. A yeah, bullet, eh? Yep, a silver bullet. That's right. Oh, he's a fine friend to have, isn't he, Joe? That's right, he is. I don't know yet why he's masked. He's but... got a special reason for that, folks. And you're lucky to have him as a friend. You see, that silver bullet is a sort of pledge of friendship to you from the Lone Ranger. Oh, the Lone Ranger? Oh, no. Copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated is produced by Trendle Campbell Muir Incorporated. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. Listen to the Lone Ranger brought to you by special recording Mondays through Fridays at this same time. <laughs>